Uh, I have spent the last 48 hours in Bamenda and I've really been amazed at the kind of comments and reactions I've been getting from the people of this town. In taxis you would hear people comment about the huge and unprecedented military presence in Bamenda. At least 7,000 troops are expected here for their 50th anniversary of the Defense Forces of Cameroon. It is really an impressive show. Most people told me in the markets that they have never seen so many helicopters and airplanes before. Others are very proud of the grandstand that has been put in place. It's a grandstand that is very similar to the one that is on the May 20th Avenue in Yaoundé with 1,000 places. And uh, in the splendor of this town, you know, it is really impressive to see so many military troops come down to Bamenda. Bamenda noted for all its controversies over the last years uh, to celebrate such a ceremony, such a symbolic ceremony as the Day of the Armed Forces. It is interesting. I keep on watching and seeing how Bamenda people react to all of this and how they appreciate the events unfolding here. The very first night I came to Bamenda, I was kind of impressed by the comments I could hear already in Bier Palos. I heard people saying, oh, the town is in, under a curfew and that people cannot go out because of the huge military presence. But interestingly enough, when I talked to people, they said there was no curfew. It is true that in the initial weeks, when it was announced that President Paul Bia was going to make this trip to Bamenda, lots of uh, young policemen, as I hear, got overzealous. They uh, organized lots of arrests. Uh, arrested people sometimes in public places when they didn't have to and these people had to pay uh, uh, some money in order to be released. This has kind of uh, tainted the popular side of the ceremony. It has forced people a little bit out of the street. And knowing Bamenda, people here are kind of cautious when they see huge military uh, presence in their town, maybe because of history, maybe uh, just out of cautiousness. It will be interesting to see how things unfold. I've been observing lots of strange and comic things ever since I came here. Uh, we just saw public toilets arriving in Bamenda. It is interesting. Bamenda is going to have public toilets for a moment, probably the duration of the ceremony. Uh, this morning, while I was jogging, I saw a very, very, um, I would say, shocking scene. One military truck actually uh, bashed a small car off the road, pushed it out of the road because the car wasn't allowing him to overtake. So those are some of the excesses that I guess people here are kind of condemning from the military. Uh, but overall, we have the feeling it is bound to be a, a beautiful feast for the region and for Cameroon as a whole. Oh, well, it's...